once again at Trader's Village. Come for the shopping, stay for the fun. I'm gonna come for the fun of Prairie Screamer. It is April 10th. I haven't been here in two weeks. Sorry it's been so long. I had implant surgery last week. See my beautiful new teeth. And I've been walking around Prairie Screamer. Again, we're, this is the Prairie Screamer roller coaster at Trader's Village. The ride section is known as Prairie Playland, Grand Prairie, Texas. And the ride appears complete as far as structure and track. There are some of these, some of these rods that are connected by turnbuckles. They need to be connected. They're not yet. But the ride is mostly complete. What they're working on now is what appears to be the exit ramp. It might be the entrance, but I think that is the exit ramp. And in the last two weeks, they have built the exit side of the station. At least I believe this side will be the exit side because it's the park is on the other side. And we'll, I'll show you that a little bit better. And I can't really tell a whole lot else of what they've done in the last couple weeks. This, this piece of, I've been calling this transfer track. I believe this is the storage track where the spare train will be stored. And the transfer track, like I said in the last video, is that piece on the ground, I'm pretty sure. And the transfer track, again, I, I said this in the last video, but it'll slide back and forth to allow the train to go onto the ride or onto the storage track. So, you can see a Larson Super Loop and a Yo-Yo. And they've got a lot of cool classic rides here. It's a really nice place, really nice prairie playland. You know, I never even knew about Trader's Village until someone told me they're, they bought a Myler roller coaster. <laughs> and so now this place is awesome. Really good deals at the flea market. I believe it's the world's largest flea market. So, Here's the station, and that's going to be the boarding side, I'm pretty sure, and that'll be the exit side. So the exit side was built, in, and it's, it's not complete yet, but it was built in the last couple weeks since the last time I was here. The station looks really cool, and how about, look at that banked track coming into the brake run in the distance. Doesn't that look cool? <laughs> I think it looks cool mainly to a roller coaster hobbyist. Anyway, let's walk around and I want to show you, well, you can see it pretty good from here. This is, uh, I'm pretty sure this is the, the entrance ramp where you will go into the station. Let's keep walking around. Not that you have any choice if you're watching my video. So, yeah, this is the ramp where you will enter the station, I'm almost sure. How about no fence? And yeah, so that's about all I got right now. Of course, there's a lot of a lot of metal sitting around, a lot of construction to do on the entrance and exit ramps. So, huh. and a little junk pile. Hey, I'm hurting for material this week. Can't wait till it opens, then I'll have a lot. Let's look at the entrance as compared to the station and the entrance ramp. 
So that's the entrance, I'm pretty sure, right there. Those two wooden posts, I'm pretty sure we'll have some kind of cool sign or cool entrance. And we will be walking through that soon to ride this amazing roller coaster, the Prairie Screamer that was saved from Scandia Amusement Park in California. Traders Village bought it. The ride has been completely refurbished. It's gonna be as good as new. Steve, the ride director tells me, and he is a wealth of information and he's a really cool dude also, Steve, if you're watching that, <laughs> this. Okay, that's about all I got right now. So yeah, um, I'll just say uh, thanks for watching and goodbye. Oh, I'm gonna link again, Canopy Coaster's uh, video that he took of this ride when it was in California. He does an excellent job. He has on-ride videos and he describes what the ride was like when he rode it. I didn't ride it when it was in California. So check out his video. I will link it in the description. And with that, I'll show you this beautiful Texas sunset. And I'll say thanks again for watching. Goodbye.